Hello and welcome back to another video and today it is my matchday vlog of Ebbs Fleet United versus Royston in the round of 16 in the FA Trophy. So make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already and yeah, let's get straight into the video. So Ebbs Fleet versus Royston, this is a game where it feels weird we're actually favourites which does worry me a little bit. Royston are in the 7th tier of non-league football I think um, and they're doing alright in their division um, you know it's going to be a tough game you know they're going to come here probably with a reasonable amount of confidence you know we've hit a decent amount of form in the league um, but again every time I record a video off the field stuff um, probably the transfer embargo is still going on so Tim Lynn probably still not playing Miles Weston ended his contract then signed for Dagenham two days later which is tapping up but you know who really cares it's, you know personal reasons which basically means wants to get paid um and yeah it's just you know off the field stuff again you know we started to slowly turn things around more news that the fourth relegation spot could be safety not relevant for us today but you know if we could stay up and have a little fake trophy run it could be a good season but with the way things are going off on the off the field stuff you know it just seems to get worse and worse and worse how the players are going to turn up i don't know I think we're going to score a tough, tough game. I think we're going to scrape it just. I think we'll get a late goal. 1-0. Jamie Grimes in the last minute. I think this is going to extra time if it's drawing as well. So no replays, luckily. Um, but yeah, hopefully the fleet can get over the line. Come on, you Reds. Up the fleet. Prediction speak up because of the music. Um, I reckon it will be 3 0 today. I, although I don't think we will play comfortably, I think Royce will be out for this one. I do think we'll win today. Win 3 0, get Barrow in the next round, beat them 3 0, and then uh, two legs against Nice County. Uh, what do you think of Miles Western? It's a shame, it's a shame. Uh, so I can sort of see why, I, I know why he's gone, but you know it's not obviously the nicest situation, he was one of our better players. Well it's annoying that it's gone through the, oh he's left because of personal reasons and he signs for Dagenham. Yeah it's a bit like, like um, just said, a bit like Reed, isn't it? Well he could have just said, oh you've, you've signed for them because you're getting, more, you're getting paid consistently, which we all understand is the reason why you signed for them. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Who's made, oh no, no, yeah. Come on your edge. Well, they do because I go to freaking games. It cost me 20, yeah, 14 quid to get in. Oh! Yeah, but you don't go to the matches just to be this about. This is like how we played against Kingsley. Oh, it's been true. I don't get one with Because he's small. Go on. Oh! Ooh. Oh, that's over there. Yeah, he's gone. Oh! Oh! Oh, fucking hell! 
One. Oh! Oh! Do something! There we go, there we go. Brad! Get your cards out! Get your cards out! Oh. Go on, go on! Oh. Shoot! Go on! Shoot! Shoot! The uh, usual bit, it's just hens. Oh! Alright, half time. Epsic nil, Royston nil. We've missed about. Yeah, it's true. We fucking just, just can't score. Can't finish. We've been like two yards out about like, four times. I don't. We haven't played that well either. Um, there's been moments where McGlashan and Adler have done well, and then just Umra and Adler, uh, Umra are just lingering around the box, not doing anything, and just Umra had wanted about four touches on an open goal, which should have scored. Which is, I think, bloody someone's nan could have scored. And then we've had an open goal as well. So, to be fair, Ross is actually getting forward, so that concerns me. Um, but we should be leading. To make, to make that. Uh, yeah, I just think um, it's one of them games where we've just got to try and keep knocking, keep trying to break the deadlock. We should have scored earlier, you know, as I said before the match. If we scored earlier, I think we would have gone on and got two or three, so, you know, it's just about finding that first goal. They're pretty defensively impact. They're looking to hit on the break and get, take their chances when they come through. And I can see yeah. them taking one of their chances. A few corners have had a few dangerous moments, yeah, but yeah, a bit of pretty boring so. half. Yeah, hopefully improve in the second half. Go on! Go on!
Shoot! Nil, Royston nil. We have had so many chances, open goals, and it's just annoying. We've had multiple chances where we just can't. Every time we seem to get close to the goal, stupid touches, stupid flicks. How are we not winning this game? But we're going extra time. Extra time we go because we don't want to replay. Oh, it's just so frustrating because we've got in their half so many times, and the touches is just dreadful. Can we actually just win this game? Uh, yeah, I thought that. Uh, I think. Make you know, it as long as this game doesn't go to penalties, I think we will win the game. Because oh, we can't freaking no, score. But, We've been about four. Hey, look at out. them. They're all on the floor. They're all tired. Look at how knackered they are. All right. They can't handle. Bring on extra time. We've still got two subs. We're the MC boys. Make it all the Everywhere we go. Full time. Epsfleet nil, Royston two. Um, I think that's the worst I felt this season. Um, you know, when we're playing teams our own division, uh, it's fair enough that maybe we get outclassed. But when we play teams two leagues below us and are part time, and they've got the energy and the fight to to beat us in in thirty minutes in that last extra time and just absolutely dominate us, it's just just the set of players here are just dreadful. Worst set of players um, this club's seen in such a long time.
they can't even score open goals. You know, um, and you know, enough's enough. That you know, it's time to the doctor needs to try and save this club. You know, try and leave us a bit of money, leave us something, leave us the ground just to try and save our club because this club's only going one way. Uh, if he continues to do what he does, and um, we're gonna go bust, uh, we'll go bust, we'll go down, and we'll have to start again. Probably not at Stonebridge Road because we probably won't own it. It's just depressing yet again. I just, I just don't think the players even care. Um, you know, it's it's just a chore. This season has been absolutely painful. And I just can't be asked to keep coming back and edit these shitty videos of just, at, just I don't want to watch this back ever again. And I can't, I can't, I, I'm seriously considering just stop doing these videos because I can't be asked to get home and edit this crap and just see, go through this absolute painful performances that go in week in, week out, where we're out battled, out beat. And we've been out beat by a freaking seventh tier freaking team. And it's just not good enough. And everyone in that ground, when the second goal went in, everyone left. To be fair, I stayed because I think the players needed a wake-up call. You know, we can we can go on about the doctor, which I'll get on to later, but the set of players here are all National League experienced, and they can't even put a ball in the back of the net. We literally couldn't even dominate freaking Royston Town. What, I didn't know, what is a Roy... What, where the bloody hell is Royston? It's just fucking... It's just... Painful. Um, the set of players just absolutely useless. Absolutely useless. Um, the doctor again, you know, Miles Weston's left. He's on the bench today. He's on the freaking bench against Verdagenham. So much for that that groin injury. Your best player. Uh, oh yeah, in, he's got. He's. I can't. Can't play. He's got an injury. Uh, more like he wants to get actually leave. Um. Um, don't know what to say anymore. You know, it's the same players, the same shit players. It's the same different managers, but it's the same result every single time. The players aren't good enough, and you can't. When is things going to be right on the pitch? When the stuff out upstairs is an absolute joke. We've got. I think there isn't many people left that actually have been at the club for any significant time. We've got Steve Lovell and his son. In charge of most of the things. Um, and that's Dave Archer. You know, Dave Archer, people that could actually could do stuff for the club. Dave Archer um, left. Steve Lovell's son. And um, this club's only going one way. And it's going to be a, love, a painful time. Either try the doctor, try and save, save it now. Or the club's only going to go one way. It's going to die. Um, and it's just absolute sure every time we've just seen there's only been a couple of performances when there's actually been that sort of fighting spirit maybe that fight you know maybe that doesn't exist maybe these players are just crap but they these players have all played at high levels before the common denominator is that It's just, it's painful. It, it just generally hurts. You know, seeing the demise of this club over the last 18 months, we were a national, we, we were so close to the e football league and we actually might go, we're probably going to go bust. So that's, um, yeah. Fair play to Royston. Play, playing against us. Well done. Um, Um, yeah, enjoy the video, that stuff, bye.